Hi everyone, welcome back to Dentison. What a blank space today. No, today we are going to see a picture. What do you think what picture is this? Yes, this is picture of grass. But not just grass, this is tuft of grass. What do you mean by tuft? Tuft means a small area of grass growing together like this. So they are all starting from one area. But why are we talking about tuft of grass here? Because in enamel, there is a structure which looks similar to this tuft of grass when seen under microscope. So enamel, which is the outermost layer of the tooth, is made up of enamel rods within which we have hydroxyapatite crystals. And this enamel is deposited in parts, in increments, like we form a wall. But in a wall, like there can be some defects. For example, cement may be missing from some area. Bricks may be broken. Similarly, in enamel, there can be certain certain defects like mineral content may be less in some rods so these defects which are hypomineralized or hypocalcified defects can be seen in enamel so one of these hypocalcified structures which is seen in enamel looks like tuft of grass as you can see here so these structures are known as enamel tufts so today's video topic is enamel tufts now what do you think where are they starting from if we look at the picture, this is enamel, this is dentine and they are arising from the junction between the two that is at dentino enamel junction and where do you think they are going towards? They are going into enamel but do you think they are covering the entire thickness of enamel? No, they are just lying within the inner enamel. So let's know more about these enamel tufts because it can come as a short note for you or it can be part of your long question when you are asked about the hypocalcified structures of enamel. So there you have to include enamel tufts. Also it can be part of your long question when you are asked about structure of enamel in detail where you have to list all these microscopic structures but don't worry we have already discussed them in the previous video still enamel lamellae. So in today's video we will discuss enamel tufts in detail. So let's begin. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to Dentosin so that you keep getting such easy, quick and informative videos. Also hit on the bell icon so that you remain notified about new videos. Let's first understand and then we will see how to write your answer. So enamel formation occurs in increments like this. So there is formation of rod, interrod, rod, interrod substance. So sometimes there can be defects like mineral content is not proper, it is less. So this segment may appear as black area which on enamel can look like this these dark areas leaf like areas are known as enamel lamellae we have already discussed them in the last video so they are hypocalcified structures another such defect affecting the rod and interrod substance are called enamel tufts which on enamel will look like this as we are drawing here so these tuft like structures tuft like structures are known as enamel tufts so what do you think what are they they are imperfections imperfection something which is not perfect or we can say they are likened to geologic faults likened means similar to compared to geologic as we have read in geography so when there is formation of earth rocks there can be faults so similarly there can be faults during the formation of enamel so that is what enamel tufts are now you have understood what are tufts but why this appearance why these defects appear like tuft of grass let's understand why this appearance is there so this appearance is seen when we see the ground section of the tooth that is cut in the horizontal plane like this which is also known as cross section. So when such a section is cut what do we see in the microscopes? In the center we have pulse space surrounded by dentin surrounded by enamel. But such section is actually a thick section that means within this section there can be many planes. So if we just separate these planes how will they appear? So this will be one plane, another plane another plane so all these planes are overlapped to form one thick section let's say we are seeing a part of this section this part in which we can see enamel on the top and dentine below so let's see how it will appear under microscope we'll draw this circle so these are dentinal tubules above we have enamel rods and in the enamel we have this defect starting from dentino enamel junction as you can see here and going towards the enamel let's see the second plane so in the second plane again we will draw the same thing in dentine enamel rods and this de another defect is there now here you can see it is starting from different part of the dentino enamel junction at, and also it is going in different direction as you can see here it is going in this direction so 
that is second plane now let's see seeing the third plane so in the third plane again we have dentinal tubules and enamel rods there is another defect but then again it is starting from some other part of dentino enamel junction as we can see here and also it is going in another direction totally different direction compared to first planes so when we see all these planes together in one section like this they are overlapped what is happening so they are all these defects are getting overlapped and they are projected into one plane and they appear as one tuft like structure so i hope you have understood why this appearance is there it is because of overlapping of the defects in the different planes and also they are starting from different regions while well, curving in different directions so when all these defects are projected into one thick section seen under the microscope then it will appear like tuft of grass so let's see how we draw this diagram i'm taking the same diagram as we used for enamel lamellae in the last video because enamel tufts and enamel lamellae can be seen in the same section so you can now see the direction of enamel lamellae it is from surface towards the dej but the direction of enamel tufts is totally different. Let's draw enamel tufts now. They are starting from dentino enamel junction and going towards enamel, another tuft, another tuft. So abundant these tufts can be seen in the cross section. So we can, if we divide the enamel in five equal parts, two, three, four, five, or we divide the enamel into three equal parts, then these tufts may extend only to one fifth or one third of the enamel. That means they start from dentino enamel junction and they extend till this thickness of enamel and do not go beyond that so that is another important point so two things we have to keep in mind they are tough like structures and second thing they are extent that is starting from dentino enamel junction going to one fifth to one third thickness of enamel so these are your enamel tufts now we have understood what they are how they are formed now let's see how to write for your exam first you will introduce the topic what are enamel tufts we know they are imperfections likened to geologic faults and they are seen in the ground sections they are seen abundantly in the cross section and rarely in the longitudinal section they are not seen in the longitudinal section and what why are we calling them enamel tufts why the term tufts is tuft is there that can be important viva question because in the microscope when we draw this section they look like structures that resemble tufts of grass so that is important viva question second thing they are extend they start from the entire enamel junction and they extend to one fifth to one third thickness of enamel now let's draw so we will draw them like this as we have already seen starting from the dino enamel junction and going towards one fifth to one third thickness of enamel so these are your enamel tufts now what is their direction their direction is in the long axis of the ground so they are running in the same direction so that is introduction second thing we will tell why the tuft, enamel tuft term is not correct so this picture that we see that is tuft of grass appearance is erroneous erroneous means it's incorrect we have already seen why because like tuft of grass which arises from the same point these structures they does not spring from a single area they are not coming from a single area but they look like a narrow ribbon like structure narrow ribbon like structure remember the term ribbon and the inner part of which is arising from the dentine so the term enamel tuft is not correct so how do they develop why this appearance is there we have already discussed this impression tuft of grass in the microscope comes when we see thick sections of this enamel in which there are multiple planes and they are viewed under low magnification of the microscope so what is happening there they are imperfections in different planes in multiple planes and they are curving in different directions all of them are overlapped like this they are the different planes they are overlapped and projected onto one plane they all of them are seen in one one plane as one thick section so that is why we are seeing this tuft like appearance so how they develop what do you think they occur developmentally it is believed that they occur developmentally because of change in direction of enamel rods how because our enamel rods we said that they keep on changing their direction in the enamel so the defects in them may also be changing their direction so they this is we can say these defects develop because of the change in abrupt changes in the direction of group of rods which are arising from the different regions of the dentino enamel junction 
it is said that their presence and development is consequence or result of adaptations to spatial conditions in the enamel spatial means space that is how they are present and develop in the enamel so i hope you have understood what to write in this part development of enamel tufts now we'll see how do they appear under electron microscope scanning electron microscope and transmission electron microscope scanning electron microscopic studies have revealed that they appear as tubular structures with cross striations as we can see here so they have cross striations and transmission electron microscopic studies showed that these structures have plate like structures in their center so in the center of the tuft this is the center we can see some plate like structures and these plate like structures are said to coming from superficial dentine layer from here and they are crossing dentino enamel junction and they are going into the tuft entering the tuft another study has revealed that these structures may have needle like crystal as we are drawing needle like crystal showing with purple color also some granular or amorphous material this material like granules or amorphous which has no shape so these structures may have crystals or this material partially occluding the channels or void this material may be occluding or blocking these channels or voids so all these things conclude that these structures have very less mineral content so they conclude that these structures are hypo mineralized structures of enamel so when mineral content is less what is present more of organic component so these hypocalcified enamel rods and interprismatic substance have more enamel proteins greater enamel protein concentration compared to the rest of the enamel and the major organic protein was found to be 13.17 kd protein special protein called tough protein has been reported in these regions again all of these things tell us that there is more of organic component and less of calcium or less of mineral so we can again conclude that they are hypocalcified structures of enamel so now we come to the summary of enamel tufts they are imperfections also likened to geologic faults they resemble the tuft of grass that is why the term enamel tufts they extend from dentino enamel junction to 1/5 to 1/3 of enamel thickness now this can come as your entrance question direct question that enamel tufts from where to where they extend and what structure they are then they are seen abundantly in cross sections and we have to draw the diagram like this and then this picture tuft of grass is erroneous incorrect because they are not arising from single area but actually they are narrow ribbon like structures so why this appears is there it is there when we see thick sections and the low magnification so where imperfections in different planes and curving in different directions they are overlapped they are projected in one plane in one section and their development is believed to be because of the change in the rod direction and spatial condition adaptation under scanning electron microscope they appear as tubular structures with cross striations in transmission electron microscope the center of the tufts may have plate like structures and in another study it has seen that these tufts may have needle like crystals and granular or amorphous substance so major protein is 13.17 mitten protein kd protein special protein tuft protein has also been located in these regions so these things tell that they are the hypocalcified structures of enamel tufts now let's check what have you learned first enamel tufts are resemble dash they run from dash to dash that is their extent then third question they are dash calcified structures hypo or hyper then develop they develop due to change in dash of rods what is changing so that is fourth question major protein name special protein name that is fifth question and your last or sixth question is they are narrow dash like structures uh, in a part of which arise from the dentin so that is all for this video if you really like the video do tap on the like button also share this video with your friends keep watching keep learning keep smiling good luck for your exams see you in the next video soon till then take care bye bye